Hey everybody, Gabe Suarez here uh, again, still talking about the, the CZ75 that we're, we're training with and, and working with. I've got one here, spare magazine off to the side like I always carry. Um, we'll be talking a little bit about holsters and so on uh, in a bit. Uh, this is just some equipment that we're testing, uh, seeing if we like it. I don't want to talk about it yet because I'm kind of still undecided, okay? Um, but uh, in any case, so I talked about the, the, the traditional double action pistol, DASA, whatever you want to call it, uh, in general, and the CZ75 in particular, have three methods of operating. So think of this like you think of a um, manual transmission Mustang, not those goofy soccer mom things they have out now, but the kind that Steve McQueen would drive, you know, something like that. Um, it takes a little bit more concentration from the driver. It, it takes a little bit more focus than just getting in and, and driving an automatic transmission, but um, skilled drivers will tell you that sometimes a manual transmission has advantages, um, you know, over, over other systems. I tend to agree, okay? But uh, in any case, so the first way is just drawing and pressing through completely, okay? Now, um, with the CZ75, well, you know what, let's be, let's be thorough here. Let's check, okay? So check the status, I'm good, okay? Check the magazine, I'm good, weapons unloaded. All right, now, the thing about the CZ, you'll notice that every time you decock, the hammer goes to half cock, all right? So that's completely at rest. Now look at where the trigger is, okay, in comparison. Let's see if you can pick that up. Okay, there we go there. Okay, now look, I go to half cock, See what that does to the trigger? Okay, it actually, so this is where you're starting your trigger press, right here. Okay, so it's a much shorter trigger than it would be if it was starting at rest. So half cock is an important um, aspect of this. Every time you decock the CZ, it goes right to half cock, which is a great, great feature. All right, so the first way is very simple. There's my target. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting this fight. You know, that kind of stuff, reactive. Very simple, access the pistol, present and press straight through. Okay, decock, back in the holster. All right, change the angle here, okay. Draw and press straight through, okay. Now here's the interesting thing. If you're doing dry work, okay, when the hammer's done, it goes back to at rest. But if you practice decocking before you go in the holster, just hit that decocker and see what it did? It put the hammer back at half cock so you don't have to do anything else, okay? Back in the holster. So again, what I'm doing is I'm drawing, the hands are coming together, fingers on the trigger, okay, now watch the timing here. I start pressing and I press all the way up and press through, okay? So here, press through. Here, press through. So. In this stage where you would be staging the Glock trigger, you're actually pressing through here, okay? This is a very, very short double action trigger press, all right? Okay, the second one, for a little farther away, maybe you have a little bit more time, you want a little bit more precision, access, present, and stage the trigger, and then let it break, all right? So what you're doing is, you're pressing out, see where that hammer is? Almost all the way back and then letting it go, okay? So you're pressing out, staging, am I good? Yes, I am, break, like that, okay? Um, you know, I would say 10 yards to maybe 20 yards or so, all right? Now, the third one, this is where some of these gun trainers that they're afraid of their own shadow. They get weird about this. Okay, thumb cock that thing on the way out. If you have time, you need a precise shot, or you're being proactive. Okay, there is reactive, and there's proactive. Reactive, he's right on top of you like this bag over here. Okay, you know what? Just draw, press straight through, and don't worry about it. You have a little bit more time. You don't quite, maybe you didn't remember to thumb cock, or you don't have time to do it. Press through, as soon as you're reaching that full extension, pause for a second, verify you're on target, and then press straight through. <clears throat> okay, the last one, you draw, and then as the hands would come together, my thumb hits the hammer. You see what I'm doing here? The thumb hits the hammer. 
So as the hands start to come together, I hit the hammer, I thumb cock, and then I press straight out. Okay? Just like that. Okay? The hands come together, I thumb cock, and I press straight out. Okay? It's very quick. Um, we'll be doing this live in a few days. We've had this monsoon storm. It's been raining for three days here. You know, if I went out to the woods to shoot right now, I'd probably be in quicksand. So I need to wait for all of this stuff to settle before I go back out there. But uh, in any case, as the hands come together, I thumb cock and I press. Okay? Just like that. Very quick. Um, you're not losing anything. It's just it's a different uh, system to work this. Now, a little bit of history. Um, if you read um, Bill Jordan's book, No Second Place Winner, okay, some of you snowflake types, you know, you need to read some of the, the material from, uh, from ages past. Anyway, uh, Jordan was a revolver shooter, you know, of, of some notoriety. In his book, he says, if you need more precision for a longer shot, I'm caught the hammer, okay? Um, there's a number of other writers from the revolver era that uh, suggested the same thing, okay? In 1990, when uh, I first went to Gunsight, it seems like such a long ass time ago, doesn't it? Um, anyway, um, I took a Smith & Wesson 5906, which was my duty gun, um, and uh, I, using this system, okay, using this system, um, I got top shooter, you know, and I went against a, a whole, uh, almost an entire relay of uh, guys that were using Beretta 92s from a very large agency in Southern California in the Los Angeles area uh, that, uh, you know, will remain nameless because I don't want to hurt their feelings. But uh, I outshot all those guys uh, with their 1911s. I outshot all those guys with their Berettas trying to press straight through and all. And I was just using a, a lowly 5906. I still have that in the safe um, because I was able to thumb cock on the way out and the single action that I had tuned on my 5906 was actually better than a lot of 1911s. Um, and the interesting thing about these CZs is the single action is spectacular, okay? If it's tuned properly, okay, this is the single action. Okay, now here's the reset. All right, very quick, very positive. So this is a system that can be tuned quite well. All right, so anyway, that's it. The three ways to run the double action pistol. Maybe we'll call it and start a new trend, the triple action pistol. You think it'll catch? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, exciting times, guys. Okay, see you on the range.